friends, welcome to Mrs. Carnes and me. We're a part-time travel couple from Southeast Missouri who's now been to 41 states and 33 countries. Please join us as we continue to explore the wonderful country of Italy. Good morning from Florence. Sun is just starting to come up over the Ponte Vecchio. Looks like it's going to be a nice day. Buses are out running, taking all the good Forensians off to their workplace first thing this morning. And we are on our way to a day trip to Cinque Terre. Thank you for tuning in and uh, joining us on this edition of Mrs. Carnes and Me. This morning, we are up early and headed to visit our second train station in Florence, Firenze Campo di Marte. Most travelers commuting to and from Florence to the nearby countryside use this station. There are nine tracks and most of the trains that leave from this station are high speed and inner city trains. They have a nice waiting room and you can get coffee or breakfast there before you leave. This morning we are riding on an Italio train. We are in the Prima Ambiance class which gives us a reclining seat, extra leg room and a snack served at our seat. We could also enjoy free Wi-Fi on our two and a half hour trip to La Spezia. Now that we're on our way, let's see what else our Prima Ambiance seat has to offer. First, we have a very nice tray table with a cup holder. There's a foot rest and plenty of leg space. We find outlets if you need to charge things up. And the armrest between our seats lifts up in case we want to snuggle later on. There's a window shade so if the bright, beautiful sun gets to be too much, I can lower it. And if you want to, there's a place to hang up your jacket and places to store luggage or backpacks. Pretty nice. We enjoyed watching the Italian countryside zoom past. And before I knew it, we were in Pisa, home of the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa. We didn't get off the train to go and see it, but if you look fast, you can briefly see it as the train pulls out of the station. I enjoyed watching the scenery change and seeing everything from mountaintop villages to castles to blue and gray Carrera marble getting ready to be loaded as we pass through Carrera, Italy. And just like that, we were in La Spezia ready to begin our adventures in Cinque Terre. Once we arrive in La Spezia, the next order of business is to buy a Cinque Terre card. This card will allow us to ride the trains between the towns all day long. This hop on hop off ticket is eight euros per person. Once we have our tickets and a map, we catch the train to Monte Rosso. The five villages of Cinque Terre are connected by rail. Every 30 minutes, a regional train leaves, stopping at all five train stations along the way. We went to the furthest town first, and we will work our way back towards La Spezia. The train schedule allows you to stay about an hour in each town if you want to see all five in one day. Monterosso is the largest of the five coastal villages known as the Cinque Terre. The crystal clear waters and amazing beach make it one of the most popular small villages along the Italian Riviera. There are hills covered with lemon trees, grapevines, and olive trees. The crystal clear waters and amazing beach make it one of the most popular small villages along the Italian Riviera. Look at the trees up there on top of that hill. 
Yeah. <clears throat> I just didn't expect palm trees. I don't know. That's the thing that has surprised me. It's not like a beautiful day. I did get a beautiful day, and what a great day to be at Tumatero on such a beautiful day. These crazy big old alamaras. So this town was flatter and more family friendly. There's a playground and the beach and long boardwalk that they're working on. So it's easy to walk and easy to have with a stroller or with kids. So good place for that. And it's beautiful. And the water is so blue. That's why she's brought me here first. <laughs> yeah. It is the most visited of the five villages and can become crowded in the peak season. We found Monteroso to be delightful, beautiful, and peaceful. Well worth a visit. Bernanza is probably the most beautiful and picturesque fishing village of the Cinque Terre. Its colorful houses hang above the sea on rugged cliffs. Bernanza looks completely different, doesn't it? It does. Bernanza. Sorry if I'm not saying it right. <laughs> I might not be. She's doing her best. I am doing my best. Oh, look at those people sitting out over here. It has a charming natural port and old castle built to once protect it from pirates. Some of the most famous viewpoints in the entire region are located in Vernanza. What's your, that's your first gelato in Italy. Oh, good. Very creamy. Very good. We saw her making that in yeah. there too, so it's fresh. It's not some of the stuff that's, uh, we're also sitting here watching these folks do their laundry today. <laughs> it's interesting to eat ice cream and get a, a show, a laundry show at the same yeah. time. So, uh, Ruth had a nice time in Vernazza. We're going to go get back on the train here a minute and head toward the next stop. Yeah. So two down, three to go. Corniglia is the least known and the least visited of the five towns in Cinque Terre. It is often skipped because there's no port and it's the most difficult to access. It is set high up on the cliffs, away from the ocean, but those who do visit usually fall in love with this little village and even declare it their favorite Terra of all. To get to the top, there are 382 very steep steps, or you can take the shuttle, and that's what we did. Corniglia. This is Corniglia. 
Corniglia. Corniglia. All these places have a little place you can get water. Lots of steps. Corniglia is a maze of alleys and steps. The sea views when you reach the top, though, are amazing and well worth the climb. Are those big ships out there? <laughs> This is stunning. <laughs> Quite amazing. Mr. Khan is just cooking around Carniglia. <laughs> to get to Monterolo, you have to walk through a tunnel. <laughs> Looks like this town's been here a while. Monarolo. This water is so clear. Now you get in there. <laughs> You're so funny. Anything to say? Instagram shot. Oh yeah, that's a great Instagram shot. We are in Manarolo. All these little towns look and feel different than the other ones do. Mm -hmm. This one uh, curves around this bay and then walk way up to the top of there city center, I think, is kind of behind us. Um, so I, I, this is another really beautiful little spot. Mm -hmm. Cinque Terre is full of them. It is. It's an Instagram. Instagram worthy? Uh, well, no, it's an Instagram lover's dream. I no. mean, yeah. So many. That's me. That's you. I'm an Instagram lover. So where are you, Mrs. Carnes? Monorola. What are you looking at? Beautiful, beautiful. See, you can see the waterfall down in there better now. Down in there. Yep, I see that. See that waterfall? That's really pretty. Just absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Just like you. Thanks. So, have you ever been walking somewhere where you feel like you're about to walk right into the ocean? As you're walking down these steps, your brain is telling yourself, don't jump across that, because the ocean is out there. I'm good. See, I'm on video, trying to create a great B-roll, and you're worried about me falling and hurting myself. I am like a mountain goat. Don't you know that? Did you learn that when you went to Scotland? Yeah. So just up over my shoulder, the shoulder, just up over my shoulder, and there's, I don't know how many people up there seeking out the perfect Instagram photo for their Instagram post. And, you know, I've been around production here with Mrs. Carnes a long time. I understand wanting to get the right angle, the right shot. But I'm really, really, really surprised, and I told her this, I've not seen one big hat out here today. And what did you tell me? I said, those are so last year. And it's very windy. A hat would have blown off, I think, too. But, yeah. I, I am absolutely flabbergasted. If I am the only human being in the world who did not know that big hats were out on Instagram, well. <laughs> leave me a comment below to let me know. Maybe they're I, still I don't in. Maybe don't we don't know. Alone. Are you filming? Yes. So we stopped for lunch at Ala Marina in Toronto. And this is right on the water here in Manarola. 
Uh, we would get a late lunch. It's 2.20. Um, so we'll stop here and see the ocean behind us. Uh, ordered a liter of house wine and some sparkling water and ordered some tuna and some soy and anchovies. Get a little hungry at this late hour of the day. Can't wait to dig in. It's like really fresh. Lemon anchovies. Are you gonna eat them? Oh yeah. I'm gonna try and a bag of bread. A little caprese salad, Mrs. Carnes? Mm hmm. These tomatoes, they look so fresh. I haven't had a really good tomato in a while. I think your luck's about to change. I think so. I think it is. I'm going to try it. We'll see. We'll see. How is it? I don't Good. One of the things they are known for in this part of Italy is the anchovies, and so I ordered some lemon anchovies as an appetizer today. It's been a while since I've had an anchovy. I think it is. I'm having the tuna tartare as my lunch. With all the fixings. Mr. Carnes. And I'm having the tuna filet. With all the fixings. So the fish of the day is tuna. And I can't wait to eat it. I can't eat it. White, this house wine delicious. is very nice. It's sort of a, a combination of a Chardonnay and a saw me on walk. It's mm -hmm. somewhere in between the two and taste and uh, it's very nice. Yeah. Um, it, it goes very, very well with the seafood. Very well. Great, Salute. great choice. Salute. You're looking straight up at these people. I mean. Yeah, they're, they're built straight up. This, this is crazy. There's engineering that's went on here that I don't understand. I don't, yeah, that's it's, crazy. Like that, it's over. So we're going through another tunnel. Like we're under the ocean. Yeah, just a little bit. It's like the Little Mermaid oh, under the sea. <laughs> Don't get us demonetized. This is fun. You really have to be quiet. Well, we're monetized. You really. <laughs> when you started out today, what was your goal? To see all five cities or towns, I should say, little towns in Cinque Terre. And where are we at in the journey? Mission accomplished. So we we're in town yeah. number five. Did we went to the far end at Mazo mm -hmm. something. <laughs> and now we're at Rigiatori. Mm -hmm. I think is how you pronounce that. If you're watching this and you're we're from Italy, please excuse our pronunciations. We're doing, we're our, doing our very best. But um, look at this place. Oh. I mean... There's a there's a million year old rock formation with serrated cliffs right there. If I if I peer down here, there's a little boat harbor with one fishing boat parked out there. And up here, I'm looking back into the multicolored village. Um, it's absolutely doable from Florence Very. in a day trip. Very much. But it so. takes some thought, and we'll we'll yeah. we'll tell you what we've learned. Perfect. Love I think you. you should. Five for five, baby. Did it. Good job. Nailed it. But we went around the corner from the last gorgeous view. 
And here's this gorgeous view of just nothing yeah. but God's beautiful it's creation. Just one beautiful view after another. I know. I've always said where the mountains and the ocean come together, it is absolutely beautiful, and this proves my point. Mm -hmm. So we walked all the way down these rocks and everything. Now we're down here on the rocks. Feet just, on the which rocks. is how I like to drink my Colonel Taylor, too. You're so funny. I'm just going to open one of those after the day. Mm -hmm. This was your idea, not mine. All for the shot, baby. Look at that. Yeah, we went up those steps spot. right there. Look at, Look at this. Here in Re so we're sitting here in Riajawari, looking out at this body of water. It's the sea. And Mrs. Carn said, what is that? And I looked it up. It's actually the Tyrrhenian Sea, or Tyrrhenia which I think sounds like something that would be on the Game of Thrones. Let's <laughs> sail across the Tyrrhenian Sea and capture the castle and all that good stuff. But she said, can you believe we're sitting here doing this? And I said, I absolutely can. It's because beautiful. We've worked ourselves to get, get ourselves here. We've worked ourselves to a spot in life where we can come and enjoy this. And uh, I think you can check this off the Mrs. Carnes and Me bucket list of things to do. Yep. Perfect. And by the way, you hear that noise in the background, that scraping, filing, whatever noise that is, that noise? If you come in the off-season to change your chair up, this is the time of year when they fix everything. Mm -hmm. ready for high exactly. Ramaggiore. Yeah, this doesn't suck. Look at this. Very cool. Very cool. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel and giving this video a like. We are living the good life. Salute!